the people of who are brahmins or people who are north indians are foreign invaders but the true uh, claim central claim of the aryan invasion theory is that hinduism and sanskrit are foreign and invasive cultures and language and that's why there are so many people who have this opposition to sanskrit right that's what's happening and people truly genuinely believe that it's not like they are bad people they think it, this is a foreign imposition it, it, it's a oppression that's been done to us for upon us for 5000 years or so because of all these false beliefs that have been artificially implanted into our minds it is very difficult for any political party even if it is a big majority to take such a controversial move it will take time maybe 20 years the israelis had unity so they were able to bring back hebrew very rapidly we are we are so disunited we are the the greatest strength of india is the diversity incredibly diverse population we all look so different some are white some are black some are in between some are tall some are short different diets different tastes different languages but we are still the same and we have one single civilization but that is also our greatest weakness that can be leveraged by outside forces so that's what's happening and right now those outside forces are within us also <laughs> so that's why since i would like to see it implemented today or tomorrow morning but uh, you know the I think the leadership knows best. They want to obviously win the next election. Otherwise, what what else will they do? It's done. So that's why you know we have to be uh, the politicians have to be practical and pragmatic. That's why.